everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about layering motion effects in the Lightorama sequencer. In order to use motion effects on real lights in S5, you will need the pro license level of the software. If you do not understand the basics of creating motion effect rows or using the motion effect generator, be sure to watch those tutorials first before continuing with this video. There are multiple ways to make a motion effect unique. You can change the slider parameters of a built-in or favorite motion effect, you can mix two motion effects together in the generator, or you can layer multiple motion effects on a prop at one time. Once you feel confident in all of those options separately, you can begin to combine them to create truly customized effects. Don't just limit yourself to the presets. The first decision you need to make when preparing to layer motion effects is how you want the effects to interact. You can find this option in the motion effect row window of a prop. Remember that any changes you make in the grid configuration are unique to that sequence, and anything you change in the preview editor will be the default the next time you create a new sequence that uses that preview. Overlay means that rows are overlaid one on top of the other using alpha blending, meaning that effects can have areas that are transparent. The first row listed is used as the background effect, then successive rows are layered on top of it, meaning that the effect in row 1 would be applied, then row 2, then row 3, and so on. You can use these green arrows to change the order of the rows, which would therefore change the order in which effects are overlaid. Blend means that the maximum brightness for each pixel is taken from the effects on every row and blended together. Most of the time you'll use overlay as your setting, but if you're looking for a slightly different effect, this is where you would make the change to blend. We'll start with the logic of overlay effects in this video. As I previously mentioned, effects are applied in a top-down manner within a prop. Effect row 1 will be applied first, and effect row 2 will be layered on top. In row 1, I have a simple white spiral effect. In row 2, I have a rainbow meteor effect starting at the top of the prop. Following overlay logic, when I press play, the meteor effect should appear on top of the spirals. If I take the spiral effect from row 1 and move it to row 3, I've changed the order of my effects. Now, the meteor effect will be applied first and the white spirals are applied second. When I press play now, you'll see that the meteors stayed behind the white of the spirals. Each prop can have 100 motion effect rows beginning in version 5.5.0, which means that you can technically layer 100 different effects in a prop. However, if you're working with whole prop motion effect rows, you probably won't layer more than 3 or 4 rows at a time, unless you've truly gotten into the weeds of creating an effect. This next example uses effects on 3 layers. The color wash effect for the blue ocean is at the back, the seaweed is in the middle, and the fish are the last applied effect. If I move the blue color wash effect to the fourth row, all I'll see now is blue, because even though the seaweed and fish were rendered, the blue was applied last and takes up the entire prop. Finally, let's look at the difference between overlay and blend. Right now, our pixel tree is set to overlay, which means the red blended bars in this section are applied on top of the green. If we change the motion effect row settings from overlay to blend, then play this section again, you'll see now that when the lines overlap, the light is yellow since blend takes the maximum value of the red light and the green light at those points. Remember that if you need to edit a motion effect, just double click on the effect to open the motion effect generator, then make your changes. If you want to apply the currently playing effect to a new area, make sure that playback not new is selected as your source. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.